the wow i always find my itching and my it haters 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 <laughs> Hey Tuesday Brothers, welcome back to my channel. My name is Wookie Lupina and if you don't know me, hey sweetie, don't forget to subscribe, comment if you're new here. Girl, do the right thing. <laughs> um, period. <laughs> cool. Oh, <wait. laughs> Obviously, we have a special guest with me today. We have another friend. Hello. Yeah. This is um, Kawe. She's my friend. I actually threw like a friendship shot when she moved to Joburg. I was like, oh, you're moving to Joburg. I guess it's a totally gay. <laughs> and then she was like, Sure, whatever. <laughs> I was like, I would love to be. Do not sweet, Kalog. As Bushle said in her last video, do not sweet. So I was like, oh, I would love to be your friend. But yeah, we met years ago, Kof. You don't remember. I don't. Yeah, that's a thing. Okay, yeah. So I don't who's remember. genuine between me and you? But do you want to introduce yourself or. <laughs> I think that's fine. My name is Kawe. So my YouTube channel has a whole lot of stuff, a lot of vlogs. Well, not a lot of vlogs. I don't have a lot of videos, but it is really about uh, like book reviews. So I love reading, um, and also there's just some conversations. So it's like cute chats and also some fun chat, which is speaking about finances and stuff like that. So it's still a new channel, but like. If we're, you trying, wanna we're trying, we're trying, we're Get with the winning team. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Road to 500k subscribers. I'll ask you guys some questions and you guys get to, well, we get to answer them as, as in, in a general conversation vibe. So relax, make yourself some tea or some babies like I am. And then... <laughs> or some water. Or some water. <laughs> Someone asked high school worst and best memories. Okay. I think my best memories is like the derbies in East London. Those okay. were really fun because I was also from a very small school. So we didn't have like all day derbies. And going to like big schools like Clarendon or Hudson or Sterling or any of those schools and going to watch the derbies was really fun because in primary school I did go to a school that was very big on derbies and it was mm -hmm. very big school and then I kind of not downgraded but I went to a much smaller school in high school so the focus on derbies wasn't that much so for high school it was nice and also like um English and band was really cool you didn't feel insecure no I the thing is uh, nah I didn't because I didn't care okay. I don't think I don't think uh, we had this conversation last week with yeah. a previous friend of mine. When I went to derbies or went to anything, any event, mm -hmm. I went because it was fun, not because because other people went with other intentions, like to Utiban and the boys, <laughs> or to watch you know, boys, yeah, yeah, or to mingle, or to make new friends, or to yeah. be one of the popular kids. Yeah. Um, I didn't care much. Um, it wasn't my interest. I was very interested in rugby and I liked the vibe, no yes. and the whole, Money you vibe. know, um, the setting. And you? Mm. My best memory. Yeah. Of high school. No, like, none. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not gonna say none. So I stayed in hostel. Uh, no, I'm going to hostel. hostel. Like, we stayed in hostel. So I think my best memory was really being at hostel. I didn't, I just wanted to add on to the derby one that you were talking about. I didn't particularly enjoy uh, like derby days or whatever because there was like, I don't know, there was this pressure to socialize. Mm. Um, and for me, I am quite extroverted with people I'm used to, but I'm not extroverted with people I'm not used to. So there was always this like, in like, like I don't know, you thought mm. I'd be like how I am with my friends. I even remember there was one, somebody who was like, hi, Chloe. <laughs> and I was just like, this is making me so awkward because people are looking at me and I feel very awkward. And you're shouting my name. And you're shouting my name. And then I was just like, hi. And since then, she's never spoken to me again. And no. Yeah. Shame. And I'm just like, it's just who I am. It's not me being a bitch. But I'll, 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 I'll go to that when I speak about my worst experiences. But yeah, so derbies are a bit, ooh. But they were good, Toyo Bugela. Eh, we're passing with the rugby. Yes, no, rugby was nice. Watching the rugby was it nice. It was, it was yeah. fun. But for me, I think my best experience really in was about being at hostel. I think at hostel, it was, there was a lot of, I think, as you grow older, there's things that you learn about people and yeah. fights that happen. And a lot of it happened when we were younger. Yes. Like we learned how to live around people, how to be around people. And like we were a naughty, but we also got away with some stuff. So a hostel shame, Sasek cares about. It was such a nice experience because you learned how to live with different yeah, kinds with, of people. Mm. And you guys never ran out of things to do. And your worst memories? I, I, I can't think of one right now for me. I think a lot of 
people misunderstood me in in high school and so there were a lot of like rumors that i'd hear or like i don't know so yeah so i i, I wouldn't if if i think if i internalized them i would have said that it could have been a case that you were bullied in high school because of the things people say but the reason why people would say them anyways because they know that you wouldn't you could handle it or mm. manalan but she's got a strong personality she doesn't it's like the weird things like i feel odd like greeting you or in certain because it's me and for you you think then the pagamil and i'm just like no no I, i'm just comfortable I'm, with the people i'm comfortable with mm. um and i think yeah and i think it's a few things as well was because i was it's so weird because i also used to get slut shamed oh yeah as well yeah. but i dated like people like so it's not like you were doing things with everyone you just dated them they'd come to you at hostel but like, play yo son, even no, I, guess, son. i think because we we were still like dating and kissing was probably the biggest was mm. the sex of the time so it was easier to slut shame people like that but i also got a little bit of slut shame and mm. because i was friends with so many guys the thing is now i also moved around a lot so mm. i was friends with queenians danians salbonians like yeah. so many of those different so now it it just looks like my oh i get all tanda amadi quenkwe boys that time they tell time we are not tanda amadi oh amadi yeah hey, it's like about <laughs> there was a lot of i think it was a matter of like also like our parents not explaining to us like um things like sex and all those conversations yeah. and what we knew was what we knew and we ran with it in okay. the sense of like in the sense of like if you don't know what sex is or you know if someone's sexually active and you see them with boys you your brain immediately goes to the worst place scenario mm. because mm-hmm. you don't understand that people can have friendships that are boys or that they could even have relationships that are not that are not highly sexual exactly like it's it's such a weird thing that the moment that you like you see someone even if they're dating like for people it means different things because mm. mm. for me like there's a lot of i mean i was young so i wasn't that active like mm. not even like i wasn't it wasn't a thing but i think it's so weird that we associate whenever we see someone we always associate them with the worst possible thing the worst but ah, when, high school is so confusing but confused man but that's a confused that's a confused man yes sometimes i look back and i'm like hi but do you think that's changed in adulthood i think it hasn't changed like yeah. there will always be something we'll learn yeah. and we'll look back and be like ah oh. yeah 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 so it's just one of those things where you kind of have to live and learn but mm. it sucks that but i feel like also with high school there were so many things that could be prevented yes. that's another thing yes. through conversation through conversation yes, easy 100%. but then there's stupid things where it's like even if you had the conversation you could have never like, oh, prevented yeah. that thing. i would like, have eh, that's you know? what you wanted to think about me so i'm not yeah yeah hey man but that's also the best thing i learned as well the fact to, that like to mind my own and also to not let what people think or say or how people interact with you define who you are uh, because when well, in any case as i do this you're going to say this if i do that you're going to say this if, just uh, whatever i i i honestly don't know how i handled rumors when i was young but i did no nah. anyway, yeah like okay. but now it i think it kicks in more now that i'm older i'm like mm. hey bro guys nyan this is capable of what mm. hey bro i saw someone's tweet was like um oh I forgot her real name but she tweeted something up along the lines but sometimes i get so shocked about the rumors i hear about myself and just oh my boy nam just or took one to capable of such a thing nyani <laughs> some rumors of yeah i what do i look like yeah to last song at alendo cuz my question really is like when do you sit and and create theories about people and their lives like i think it's to cover their own tracks people create rumors to cover their own tracks that's one thing i've learned okay like if if uh, i could be wrong there could be other reasons but from my case uh, is people have created rumors about me to cover their own tracks like okay. Bah, okay it's coming back to me let me divert the issue to something else yeah like, and then by divert to go because issues mostly ay isa ya khorale ya bantu eh you say like shush because but cable boy but like i know i did something wrong but, <laughs> but do you my know man like, <laughs> do you know bushle <laughs> literally i think it's to just divert the conversation to something completely different 
Yeah, I'm confused. I'm not in land. Like, how do you sit and just create things about people? And yes, it does. Okay. But it's also, you also mm. don't realize that you're creating a rumor. Like, land, you're, you're gossip. But like, yes, you're fun. And I, yeah. You're fun. Okay, yes, I get it. Like, we're all guilty. We are. Oh, yes, we're all guilty. And you're not going to go to the land. And like how would she be able to How would she be like little child? Because Babon lovers are bad, most passage driver are all exactly. So, yeah, I'm telling you, it's a roof. Wow, how? Yeah, no. Do you sometimes like you know when you're having a conversation? Because sometimes that happens when in conversation and I express my experience about someone in this conversation and I go home and I feel so bad. I always. I shame always. Even on my if I'm naive, I'm. Hey, that's it. Oh, I look at my head to get over. Hey, I feel like oh, I'm gonna run to be so bad. It's when I ask. Shame. I wish I didn't. I wish. I, I wish. But I, it's my reality. It's my it truth. Is. But why do we feel ba- like it is your reality? But like, why do we feel bad? Like, I don't know. I think it's that thing. But there's two sides of the story. Yeah. For me, I, I mm. for me personally, because I'm like, this person treated me like this. Yes. I didn't like it. But there could be a reason why they treated me like this. Yeah. But it sucks. It still sucks. Yeah. So I think it landed back. I two sides of the story. But the onion, guys, it's not a problem. See problem. And if you think you're not a problem, you're the problem. You're the problem. <laughs> you, you are. You're definitely the problem. <laughs>